Oof, what makes me more excited? I think the story and I think that it's forever is the forever purge. So that means that I'm probably going to be in all the franchises because it's a forever purge. That makes me very excited. <laughs> so Jason, James, call me. I'm here forever. <laughs> I love it. I feel like the story is really, really fresh, right? The scares are fresh and the story is fresh. It's a daylight purge. There are no rules. There's no end to this purge. Can you kind of expand on that a little bit and how this new, the forever purge just makes everything so new and so fresh and so different from the other purges? Yeah, I think the location, like you're saying, the location that it's also like a border movie, you know? There's a, a lot of uh, ethnicities, not only like Latinos, but also Na Native Americans, um, Americans. And it's, it's a lot of contrast between our cultures. Um, and there's also a clear message at the end of the movie about, you know, about um, humanity. It is not, it's not about not being, you know, fighting against, against each other for something that, it's our culture or it's our background or it's our language. So um, I, I do think it's a, it's a great one. Uh, probably and obviously my favorite. <laughs> Were you surprised when you read in the script that this purge, it doesn't end? You know, like the other purges, there were rules. It ended once the sun came up, but this one, it doesn't yeah. end. There are no rules, yeah. it's ongoing. Can you talk about that a little bit? <sighs> yes, uh, I, I think that was, that was very, new for the script and also like you said I think everything in daylight is way scarier you know seeing something in daylight that something something about the night and the shadows kind of like um give people permission to do more more dark things but in daylight it, it needs to have more guts and, and 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 you know to go out and kill someone right there so that, I think that gets scarier um definitely yes what was it about the script that made you say wow this is so good i want to be a part of this um i think all i think the way it was it was written i loved obviously my character um i think the way she is written is very realistic and i i am a fan of all these women of all these women who have you know, who come to this country to get a better life, that are hard worker, that are just all about um, being um, just, 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 um, how, how do you say that word? Um, just to become better, right? Um, so that's why I, I just fell in love with the character. And like the, I like the relationship with Juan a lot, you know, the, the type of couple they were, that they were also very loving, um, so yeah, I, I, I just, I just love the script and how they interact with the other couple and with the other family, with the Tucker family, how they're able to, you know, work together when they're so different and then they, and then they become a team. So I just feel like that makes this, the, the, the movie interesting to have these people coming together in the worst circumstances but then, then they have to become a team when they would never be, you know, friends or they would never be in the same team, you know? One thing I loved about Adela, your character, is that when you're peeling back the onion, there's just more discovery and more discovery. She got so physical and she's so badass, if you will. I mean, you must have loved playing her. Yes. I, I love just getting, getting the opportunity to, to kick some butt and be so physical, yeah. right? Yes, I, I loved it. I was, well, you know, thank God we have stunts. So, you know, you have like an amazing woman who are going to do all that for you. I did a lot of stuff, but obviously, you know that at the end it's going to look like I'm that person and then I'm, I'm, I'm that super badass, which I am not at all in real life. So it's always fun to see yourself like that and that people would think you did that and uh, that you're that brave. And, um, but yeah. Uh, but also it's cool because you have to, you have to learn to do all these things. And uh, now I feel more and more prepared for whatever I need to do, but maybe only in my mind, but, but because <laughs> probably I wouldn't be able to do anything that I've done <laughs> in on screen. 
Well, I have yeah. to say the fans, I mean, you know, fans just love the Purge franchise. They love every single yes. movie and they're going to love this one as well. What do you think it is about the Purge movies that makes fans go so crazy over them? And do we get that same stuff in the Forever Purge? Oh, no. Yeah, definitely. You're going to get it. Um, but um, I just feel like everyone has those... Um, just, just, just the concept of the movie, I think, is genius, right? Just to, to, uh, to have the, the idea that you can go out and there's no rules and you can kill or rob or do anything you want for 12 hours and, uh, and you have that window per year. Like, maybe I probably would, would go and rob a lot, of, a lot of stores with clothes that I like, Right? Like we all have those fantasies. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, uh, but I just feel like, yeah, I think we have like these dark thoughts and uh, just thinking, oh, imagine if for 12 hours I could do that and I wouldn't have any consequences. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go to jail um, because for a society to, to, you know, to be able to work, we need to have rules, right? So having no rules, that's, that's, that's genius. Everyone wants that. And I gotta know, are you a fan of horror movies? Do you watch them all the time? I don't watch them all the time, but I do like horror movies. And I just would like to watch a little bit of everything. Um, and I, when I grew up, I, I've never been afraid of horror movies. I, I find them a lot like entertaining and fun. Um, I, I am very afraid when I see like real documentaries about real people who did so, like that. I cannot sleep like a horror movie. I think it's just fun, you know, like it's the special effects and fun and everything is like, a, yeah, it, it is not real. But yeah, things like the purge can happen. So I think it's I think that's like the difference between horror and terror. I think I read it once that terror comes from the word from tierra, which means earth, which means that it can happen. And horror is something that it's more out of uh, imagination, that it's less, you know, less, um, that it wouldn't happen. It's more, uh, it's more, it's less realistic. But terror, it's something that can happen in, in real life. So I think I'm afraid of terror. I'm not afraid of horror. <laughs>